Hi, welcome to the course Azure Data Factory in Azure Data Engineering. So now in this lecture, let us try to understand one scenario, real-time scenario. So that is running the ADF pipeline manually. So this is one of the interview question frequently asked actually. Uh, and also we can call as running the ADF pipeline by using REST API call. Or we can say also uh, running the one ADF pipeline by you by calling it from other ADF pipeline, okay? So before going to see this scenario, please like, subscribe and share the video. So now let us see what is this meaning. So we are going to have one ADF one. So the, this is the uh, one existing ADF. In that assume that we have a pipeline one. So then this is calling another pipeline, which is existing another ADF actually, data factory. So this is what we are trying to do now in this scenario. So how you can do this part, okay? So if you go to the data factory, so here if you observe, so this is the EFN MAR23 is one ADF, uh, ADF data factory actually. And another one is uh, Prashant PER MADF, ADF, okay? So this is another ADF actually. So in this, in this, we have a pipeline one. So this pipeline, we want to run, we want to call, from this EFN March. So that means uh, in this, for example, this is the EFN MAR23. This is the ADF which is calling. So another pipe ADF that is Prashant uh, PAR ADF actually, something, okay? So this ADF is calling this ADF in that one of the pipeline actually. So the pipeline name is pipeline one. So if you go to the pipeline, so here this pipeline is actually uh, going to find the missed files between source and destination and then copying those files from source to destination actually, if any files are missed. So anyhow, whatever it is doing, we need to run this pipeline. But before that, we should ensure that go to the monitor section. So currently, uh, this is previously run uh, pipeline history actually. So currently we don't have, we didn't run this pipeline. So here let us just observe it in the, in the last 24 minutes, this particular pipeline only one time called. Now we need to call this particular pipeline from this, right? So for that, what we need to do. So before going to see that, uh, if you see the documentation also, you can find out like this, how you can call a ADF, uh, the pipeline in a ADF, uh, from any other actually. So this is the structure they are going to provide actually. You can see that. Um, in this URL, the main thing is subscriptions. This is the subscription we need to provide. And the resource group, under which resource groups this is there we need to provide. And also that, see, you can have many subscriptions. So which subscription you need to provide. And which resource group, under one subscription you can have many resource groups. So you need to provide. Under one resource group, you can have many data factories, which, so which data factory you need to provide. And finally, under one data factory, you can have many pipelines. So which particular pipeline you want to call. So these are all the informations you need to pass. So for that, what we can do is, let us take it. And then if you come to the data factory, uh, when you come here, if you see, especially uh, this one, Prasant uh, PRM ADF. In this, if you click on this, switch the data factory. Okay. So you can see this data factory details you can find out here. So this is the data factory name. Okay. So the main thing is subscription. So subscription, you can take this part. So copy it, then come to the notepad. So in this subscription ID, replace that whatever we copied. So subscription ID is placed. Then next resource group. So in this part, we need to copy resource group. So that is, you can see here, RG underscore EFN. So replace it. Yes, resource group is also done. Then the data factory name. So data factory name is what? So let us see that. So data factory name is this one, Krasant Parma ADF. So copy that, paste it here. And on top of that, what is the pipeline name? So the pipeline name, you will get it here. This is what the pipeline. 
so you can copy from here. So first of all, you should make the pipeline uh, URL get ready. So this is the URL to call this particular pipeline from anywhere actually. So that is what first thing we need to do. So for that, what is the method we need to use is post method. How you can call this particular pipeline from this data factory. So for that, you can go to the pipelines, take a new pipeline. So in this, take the web activity. So you can use the web activity for call for, by, for using the API call action. So in that, if you go to the settings, then whatever URL we prepared here, this URL you can place there. So that this is directly coming to this particular pipeline. Okay. So first of all, place it there. So after that, after that, what is the method? So here method is post. So take that method, post. Now we should have a body. So body, we don't have anything. So that means you, at least you should have an empty body actually. So that's what curly open and close brace. Okay, that's all. With this, are we able to run this particular pipeline from this ADF or not? Let us check that from this particular ADF. So you are under EFN MAR23. From here, you are trying to call another ADF pipeline. So let us click on validate first of all. Yes, there is no errors. Now click on debug button. So let us see what is going to happen now. So you can see it is actually failed. So let us see the reason what is happened. So authentication is failed. That is what actually just by having these details, just by having the uh, subscription ID and uh, data factory names, all these things, is it possible to access any day pipeline within the data factory? No, actually. So you see where you are calling here, this ADF should give the permission to run the pipelines from another ADF actually. So this resource should give the permission to other resources of the Azure. Then only it will allow you to uh, use the pipelines actually. So that is what authentication you should provide. So for that, what we are going to do, go to the this particular Prashant uh, ADF, okay? Go to the Prashant ADF. Then, uh, yeah, so go to the Prashant ADF into the control panel dashboard. So this is the ADF. Go to the access control action. Here we should give the role assignment. Then only it will allow you to access it. So that is what role assignments. So right now we don't have it. Now check access, add role assignment. So here we can give a data factory contributor. Then you can see the what it is uh, description. What does it mean? Click on next, go to the man manager identity and select the members. So click on this, select the data factory. So data factory you want to give. So what are the data factories available? So this one. You are under, check that you are under Prasant ADF. You want to give the permission to EFN MAR23. That's what EFN MAR23 to run the pipelines here. You are giving permission to other ADF. So that's what for EFN and March can run this particular ADF pipelines. Okay. Click select. Then you see it is selected review and assign. So now again, click on review and assign. It's going to add a role so that you can run it. So yes, it is done. Now let us go to the, this whatever calling ADF is there. Now again, click on debug. Let us see at least now is it able to uh, allow it or not. See again, it is failed. Okay, see that again, authentication failed. Okay, so now the problem is go to the web activity. So the main thing is here authentication we should provide. So that is what actually, so here system assigned managed identity. So, so this authentication we should provide. Then what is the value you need to give? So it is very simple for anybody. It is the same. So in this, just take this link. So I'm copying here. You can see that. So only this part. 
so take it and place it here then now let us see see till now we try to run this pipeline one you can see in the monitor section whether it is uh, triggered or not till now so it is not a triggered now let us see i'm going to click on validate first of all no errors now click on debug option so now you can see what is going to happen so it is in progress yes now it is succeeded so what does it mean you go to the here and just refresh it see it is called one time okay so go inside of this then whatever pipeline is there that is executed see all of them are executed at the, at this time okay so here it is finding actually the between source and destination uh, number of files difference okay and between source and destination number of files you can see number of files in source is 11 and a number of files in destination is 11 so because difference is zero number of missed files is zero so it no need to do anything it is simply waiting here and then coming out of the pipeline actually so this particular scenario if you want to practice if you want to learn so you can see in the list in the uh, course actually so this is already uploaded okay so this way first of all you can call um adf pipeline from another adf pipeline actually okay so here if you want to see the uh, documentation so how to run adf pipeline using rest api so you can go to the microsoft documentation so in that you can see this is what the thing we took post method https managed so here you can see whatever we i showed you this is the url actually so create a run so if you want to run a pipeline by using a url or that means a api call so this is what the documentation is providing and it is providing all the details in this document okay whatever we discussed same thing actually so hope you understand that so in this way we can do this particular scenario thank you very much for watching please like subscribe and share the video